Best hotels in Manila. I'll review luxury hotels and cheaper alternatives. The best hotel I stayed at in Manila is the tallest building in the Philippines, the Grand Hyatt. It's located in BGC, which is the nicest part of the city and very walkable. Unlike most rooms I've stayed at, Grand Hyatt's feels very open and very spacious. That's the main reason it stands out above all the other hotels I stayed at. You get double sinks, separate rooms for the toilet and shower, and a bathtub that's out in the open. You get a walk-in closet with a bench, a nice welcome package of goodies, and excellent service that even comes with an on-site nurse if needed. Typically, the photos of hotels that you see online exaggerate how good they actually are in person. With the Grand Hyatt, I feel it's the opposite. The room is more impressive in person than it is in photos. Disadvantage, other hotels like the Shangri-La and Seda have slightly better locations. Grand Hyatt is a few blocks away from the core walking center of BGC. Other negatives are you get a pretty unimpressive television set, and of course it comes with a high price tag. Okada Manila, is regarded as one of the best hotels in Manila, but to be honest, I was slightly disappointed. They don't seem to put the customer first because of very strict policies, like no outside food allowed, or no guests up for a certain time. They even have a sign saying something like, if you remove a food item for more than 30 seconds, you have to pay for it. I felt like I was being treated like a child when I was at the Okada. I also had to wait in line to check in, wait in line to check out. One plus at this hotel, however, is you can control everything from a single tablet. You also get a nice bathtub next to the window. The rooms are nice, but not quite what you would expect from the photos. And the bed had a little bit of a strange smell to it. In my opinion, the biggest reason to stay at Okada is because you want to experience the rest of the complex. And the rest of the complex is not so much the hotel rooms, it's things like the cool fountain show, the casino, the clothing stores and restaurants. These are all sort of built into this mall-like thing in Okada. The main lobby is impressive, though the second lobby I checked into, not so impressive. You don't go there so much for the hotel room as for what's outside the room, the entertainment. It's a nice hotel, but I would say it's overhyped. Moving on to Conrad, which is a luxury brand owned by Hilton. The best advantage of the Conrad Manila is that it's directly connected to the Mall of Asia. Once you go down the elevator, you're practically in the mini mall called Smaison, which has a Starbucks, it has some great restaurants like Italian food, wide variety of cool desserts, has a luxury movie theater that has lazy boy seating, food service directly to your seats. The theater even has a bathroom right in the back of where the screen is. You don't even need to go outside to enter the sixth largest mall in the world when you stay at this hotel because it's connected. Just walk through the fully enclosed overpass and you have access to anything you want, including a bowling alley, archery range, some awesome dessert pancakes, endless shopping, pretty much anything you're gonna wanna buy. The hotel has an, an elegant, somewhat minimalist design. In other words, it's not very ornate, the Conrad. The room has a similar elegant feel as the cheaper Brittany Hotel in BGC. And I would say the design is also similar to the Marriott in Bangkok, though it's larger and a bit older at the Conrad. Now, one downfall of this hotel is that there's no bathtub. And like most hotels in Manila, no hot tub in the public space either. One perk is they gave me a cute stuffed animal as a welcome gift. The service is nice, but a bit slow, despite looking overstaffed. It's an excellent pick if you plan to spend a lot of time at Mall of Asia. The Conrad brand is supposedly on the same level as Park Hyatt, which is slightly above Grand Hyatt, but in my experience, the Grand Hyatt was more impressed. And at this hotel and most hotels in Manila, you also find the security quite intrusive, but that's just what happens in Manila. The Westin is one of the newest five-star hotels in Manila that was mistakenly labeled as having only four stars. 
The design was very modern and clean, but somewhat small. Security again, very annoying. The shower and bathtub are nice, but you only get one sink. One perk of this hotel is the hot tub next to the pool, which is not something you generally expect in Manila. The Westin is known for its focused on wellness, but I found it odd that they had no scales to weigh yourself. The location is a little bit awkward. It's a short walk to the Shangri-La Plaza, but that walk involves some weird twists and encounters with traffic, and traffic's really not that good in Manila, particularly in this area. Now, Crown Plaza is an excellent option if you're looking for a mid-price hotel at about half the price of the brand name Five Star Hotels, not that far from uh, the hotel I was just talking about, the West End. It's connected to the Robinson Mall and has newly renovated rooms. Brittany Hotel is a very new hotel located in BGC, directly beside the main mall in the BGC area. The design is very elegant and the price is great for what you get. The room design is similar to the Conrad Manila or the Marriott in Bangkok again, but much cheaper. You also have a nice rooftop style pool. One downside of this hotel, however, is you get a small bathroom and the bathroom has a slightly peculiar smell. If you're looking for cheap five-star hotels, you likely want to check out the Publician area of Makati. The I'm Hotel, for example, is very cheap for a five-star hotel. And if you are going to be spending a lot of time in Makati, then Makati, then it's a good location. In my opinion, the best area in Makati, though, is the Rockwell area near the Power Plant Mall. This area is like a small version of BGC. There aren't a whole lot of options of where to stay in this area, but I stayed at the Aruga Apartments and it was a good choice with a great location. Great walkable area, very modern. Uh, I recommend getting brunch at a nearby cafe that offers these peanut butter on pancakes or something. Uh, I found it quite tasty. You can get a nice latte, something like that. Dusitani is a great choice if you want an excellent location in the middle of Makati without breaking Making the bank. It's right next to the main mall area. It's a Thai style hotel with somewhat spacious rooms. It's not my favorite choice because it didn't feel particularly modern, but for the price and location, it's a solid pick, especially if you like that kind of architectural look. Personally, I like something a bit more modern. Another great choice would be the Shangri-La, in particular the one in BGC, which seems to be the most modern and impressive and prestigious. I haven't stayed there personally, but I heard it's in the same league as the Grand Hyatt. I visited the lobby and it seems impressive with a stellar location in what is basically the best area of all of Manila, perhaps all of the Philippines, unless you prefer somewhere near a beach. Although I only checked out their roof a rooftop restaurant, I would say Seda is probably another great choice. It has one of the best locations in BGC and comes with a lower price than the bigger brand name hotels like the Shangri-La, the Grand Hyatt, Conrad, etc. Now, if you really want to save money and be in the middle of a Mandaluyong shopping area, you can check out the historic Richmond Hotel. I wasn't super impressed with it, but for the price, I mean, it's fine. It's adequate. It's got a good location. It's, it's, it's suitable. Now, if you want a bit of an upgrade, you can check out the Marco Polo, which is another great option in that area. It's a five-star hotel without paying for the big brand name premium. Not as impressive as the Grand Hyatt or anything, but it's nice and comes with an indoor hot tub next to the pool, which is a nice perk. The view from the pool, however, is not great. It's basically an abandoned building, but the, the pool, the hot tub, they're fine. Manila offers excellent hotel options for almost any price range. I recommend finding your hotels with Agoda because Agoda gives you the option to be able to see the full price with all the taxes and hidden fees included. Find out where you want to stay, what area. My favorite area is the walkable area of BGC. My second favorite would be the Rockwell area near the power plant mall, though there aren't that many hotel options in that area specifically. I also stay a lot in the Mandaluyong area Area, which has terrible traffic, but excellent shopping if you want to stay in that area and not travel a lot. The Makati Greenbelt area is also a good choice. If you want to save money, I suggest avoiding the brand names. You can get an almost brand new hotel for half the price using this strategy, going after nice hotels that don't have recognized brands. If price is not a concern, I recommend the Grand Hyatt. 
And lastly, I just want to repeat the most annoying thing about staying in hotels in Manila is it's like walking into the airport security every time you enter. And I find it very intrusive, but hey, it's just something you got to get used to.